way more hair than that. <laughs> and just it out of his eyes for me is just because, you know. <laughs> well, guys, I know you guys are busy planning Acre Edmonton. You're busy planning member meetings for the rest of the year. It's kind of crunch time right now. So, first of all, thanks so much for taking the time. I know you guys are peeling you guys away from your hard work and with the hats on uh, kind of work. So, thanks for making the time. I appreciate it. You bet. Thanks, Tom. So, uh, Patrick, let's let's first talk about this this new face for some, old face for others. He's got a beard now, Jared. I've seen a lot of old videos without the beard and with the shorter hair. So, um, you know, I think yeah, that mean. I mean, if I could grow that, I tell you, I think I would. So, uh, Patrick, why don't I tell, let you take the introduction of who Jared is, the, a bit of background here on how we got here, and then sure. uh, from there, we'll t we're we are folks. Those of you listening live, thanks for tuning in. We are going to be talking about Acre Edmonton and what that event is going to cover. The Acre Real Estate Investor Summit is going to be epic, and we're going to talk about that next. But before we get there, Patrick on Jared. So thanks, thanks for that, JG. You know, we were last month. We did a couple of meetings uh, with Jared in uh, Calgary and Edmonton. Now I know this is going out nationally, so for some members, they'll remember Jared Hope and they'll have heard me talk about Jared Hope and the fact that. Jared and I have been business partners and real estate partners for many years, since about 2005, actually. And we actually did a conversation and talked about what can go wrong in a joint venture partnership. And what went wrong a couple of years ago between Jared and I as not only business partners, but as friends, <laughs> exactly. He lost, by the way. <laughs> and uh, so the, the, the thing about that is, is that, you know, kind of things went south for us. And uh, we broke up. Like, you know, friendship, business, you know, I, we joke, but it's true. He pissed me off. I pissed him off. His ego was too big for me and my ego wasn't big enough to match his. And that's how I say it. <laughs> Anyways, the point is, is that we had a very long-term friendship, business relationship, joint venture partnership, and things went south. And uh, over the course of the past several weeks, we had reason to reconnect uh, because we owned millions of dollars worth of real estate together. And, um, you know, just through our own evolution as men and friends we realized that you know as much as we pissed each other off we were really strong as partners together we're we're pretty strong as a team and we were able to kind of heal the wounds around our friendship and around the partnership and so here we are today sharing what we've learned along the way because that's what we do so i don't want to take over the whole thing but that's my recap of it and jared you can fill it in yeah i actually i, I would I would actually describe it like a marriage. You know, when you get married, you know, you, you marry someone who complements your weaknesses. And if you look back in 2005, I approached Patrick. And at this point in time, I was looking for a money partner. And it turned out that we were actually better partners, uh, joint venture partners, equal partners, than he's my money guy and I'm the doer, like a typical JV. And what Patrick brought to the table back to me back in 2005 was the structure, the stability, the foundation, the business staff. What I brought to the table was the the hunger, the drive, the, you know, the doing this, the in the trenches guy. So, you know, fast forward to this. That's, that's, ex that's exciting. We're getting phone calls in the middle of this. We do, oh, by the way, we've implemented a system of fines. Yeah, that's, that's a hundred dollar fine. <laughs> uh, no, but, but back fast forward to six weeks ago, you know, like in the last couple of years, I've, I've started off a Else, I've kind of been doing my own thing, and six weeks ago, eight weeks ago, Pastor and I, you know, we have a conversation. It's just like, dude, like, what are we doing? Like, and so, what happened was, it, you know, once again, we he 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 brings a lot of strengths to me, and I bring a lot of strengths to him. And and then over a couple of beers, we're like, you know, we're way stronger together than we are apart. So, you know, back to serve my calling, which is to help people have a limitless life. And Patrick's calling is to help people be their best selves. Actually all people are being their best selves and living their best lives. Yeah, and in order to help people achieve that, we're better together than we are apart, for sure, right? So what I got from all of that is that beers solve all problems. <laughs> Listen, you can get anything done with a few beers. So I think there's a, you know, there's a, you know, to kind of talk about it just briefly a little bit, you know, there's, you know, number one, Jared's very, very accomplished as a real estate investor. He's very accomplished in what he does in his business, and he's very savvy, he's very driven in that regard. And, you know, we were just literally talking about it a little while ago is that recently we did a survey of RAIN members and some of the feedback that we got was they wanted more in the trenches learning and more uh, in the trenches guidance, if you will, from guys who are really doing it. 
you know, Jared's done over 400 transactions, and I don't know how many tours he's done. 421. <laughs> Not that he keeps score or anything, but anyways, uh, that's like competitive nature. But the point is, is that, so as we were working through this, we were listening to RAIN members and what they needed, and we said, you know, here's an opportunity to, and Jared's been on our stage many, many times. I mean, he's been, a, was a very, very active part of the RAIN team in terms of what he delivered on stage. You know, and over the past couple of years, you know, we go on a long tangent of just the work that, you know, personal development, the professional development that, we do and we have in our lives anyways and as we you know as we even kind of healed old wounds and came back together we really realized that so much of it was just a breakdown in communication and that's some of the lessons that we learned so then when we started planning for the upcoming you know the rest of the season for member meeting and more specifically on this conversation about acre we went you know jared's doing some really really cool stuff on the tilt side of it and I'm going, dude, you got to bring that forward into how we educate RAIN members. And, you know, he's got a, what he's talking about is an eight-year plan to financial freedom by design or financial uh, certainty by design. And then he has a, a whole a kind of a cool strategy that he riffs off of that, which is called the Big Brother Strategy. So, you know, he's, and I won't speak to that other than that there's a lot of things that we're bringing to Acre this year that's making Acre way different. And uh, so members need to know that and attendees need to know that it's going to be an epic Acre event. And Jared's going to be a part of it. And this is really the first time that we ever do. We've rebranded Acre. So it's not, it's not going to be a traditional Acre in the sense that Acre is this year is the first time we make it a real estate investor summit. Truly all-encompassing. And Patrick, there's a reason for that. We've launched a whole new initiative around the traditional Acre component. Tell us about that. And then Jared, we'll get to your components of Acre and what you're going to cover at the Real Estate Investor Summit because that's really key. So Patrick, what are we launching here? So the, you know, the traditional Acre was a, based on the book, Real Estate Investing in Canada, written by Don R. Campbell, of course, best-selling author of seven books. And so when we took the real estate investing in Canada and the acre system, we taught it many, many times over the years at that particular event. And of course, with what's going on in the world around digital and video and, we, and, and what you can deliver on a digital platform, we took real estate investing in Canada and the acre system and we put it on an LMS platform, which is a learning management system. So what that allows us to do is to provide attendees if they want with that system, but still come into the room, come into a two and a half day event and learn a ton about an expanded uh, conversation around uh, real estate investing. And besides just do it yourself, but really getting into a big expanded, but they can always go back to the fundamentals, the foundational learning. Well, and, and you know, Patrick and, and Jared, you'll remember this from back in the day, but you know, we've always been challenged at Rain at Acres because we want to cover the basics. We want to cover the foundation. We want to cover the nuts and bolts, but there's so much new stuff to cover at the same time. So like, how do you cover the old and the new at the exact same time? All in two and a half days, it's very, very difficult. So we've we think we've mastered it this year by offering yeah. a LMS, which is you're going to get the foundation, the nuts and bolts, the baseline knowledge. You're going to get all of that in an LMS learning management system online. Think of it as like an online university kind of thing. And then at the Acre Real Estate Investor Summit, you're going to get all of the most current awesome stuff. And Jared, you're bringing a lot of that to the table with uh, your eight year plan, as well as your big brother strategy. Tell us about that. Wow. Well, I can only tell you this, but I can tell you lots. But one of the big things is I've, looked, I've created all these systems by all the mistakes I've made. You know, like back in 2008 with the global recession, you know, I was losing $18,000 a month. You know, by 2010, I was a couple months from being bankrupt. And I, I, I was in that situation because we were buying the wrong properties, the wrong cash flow. Uh, I didn't have the big brothers, if you will, uh, which I, I, I kind of, I, you know, they're like my bodyguards. The big brothers are the bodyguards of your, of your portfolio. And all too often, I've seen over the years, I've coached many, many clients. I've, I've taught many programs. I've been on many stages. And the common mistake is people are tending to buy lesser cash flowing properties or buying the wrong properties at the start. And because they think they can do it, they think they can pull it off. They think they can make it work. They're going to manage it impeccably. So the approach with the big brothers is go get your bodyguards, go get your protection, and then you can start taking the chances. You can gamble. You can take a little bit more risk, lesser cash. So we're going to talk a lot about that. The biggest thing that I've come to realize is years and years ago, I was taught to buy real estate for 25 years. And, you know, that's back to my dad. That's back to, you know, my first investment book, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. 
you know, the, the general teaching was you buy a piece of real estate and you just pay it off for the next 25 years and then you're set. Well, I've come to realize that it's actually an eight year plan and the eight year plan actually play the game properly, game chess. You're actually going to be able to set yourself up that in eight years, you potentially could have played the game to the point where you can get your money out and start living off of this game that was being played differently. So I actually don't believe in a 25 year plan. It's an eight year plan. And we're going to be teaching a lot about that. Um, can, you, can, you I, get- can, I, can I jump in on that, Jerry? Because I, I find that very interesting because I think you're, it, the 20, it's still, it could still be a 25 year plan, but it's in eight year increments, right? Correct. I know what you're saying, which I find fascinating because no one's ever talked about that before. Yeah, like no one talks about this. And the reason, you know, because it's we're so taught 25 years because, you know, that's back to the amortization rates of mortgages. So we went from 25 years to 30 years when the banks changed amortization. And now it's back to 25 years because the banks are dictating. But the truth is, I'm not saying sell the property in eight years. I'm just saying reevaluate it. Every property, every, every property you buy is like a game of chess. You're moving this pawn on the table. And at eight years, that property needs to be reevaluated for many reasons, which is why we're going to get at that at eight years. So you have to be there to hear all this stuff. And I'm going to show everybody how to analyze a property to, at the eight-year mark to determine, do I keep it? Do I sell it? Do I refinance it? What do I do with this property at eight years? And how does it fit my long-term plan? Yeah, of- yeah I think that's brilliant. So one thing that we've been talking a lot about in August and, and you just mentioned the key word there and, and I know it's going to be covered, which is joint ventures. I, you know, I, at the acre real estate investor summit, we're going to touch on joint ventures, which we've done quite a bit of, and we're going to touch on it. Jared, are you going to cover some of that at, uh, in your segments at acre at the real estate yeah. summit? Yes. And no, I'm bringing a guy out from Ontario. Uh, and this guy is a deadly, his name's John Heaney. John's going to be coming out and talking about joint venturing. This is a guy who's transacted something like $20 million in joint ventures. And right now with the type of the market that we're seeing, you know, from millennials coming in, you know, millennials are coming into a market where the stress, more stress tests are tough. You know, they don't have the amount of cash that they have or that, you know, that we used to have back in the day, just, you know, many reasons for that. So joint venturing is the main way to acquire assets. You know, back in the day when I, when we were buying property, it was like, you know, banks were just handing out mortgages like crazy. Where now the game has changed where joint venturing is actually the way to play. I bought my first 13 properties on my own. I went from 13 to hundred, all with joint ventures. So, you know, yes, the game has changed, but the concepts are still the same. So joint venturing is a massive topic to build your portfolio. Well, I, and I would actually say, Jared, that, you know, back, back in your day, I, I find it funny when you say back in the day, you know, I find like, I, I think Patrick's allowed to say that. I'm not sure you're allowed to say that, but yes. Yeah. Um, so, you know, back in your day, you went 13 properties on your own and then you went to joint ventures. I would, I would say that a lot of people in today's day and age, if they don't get to 13, they'll get to two, they'll get to three, yeah. and then they got to start going down the joint venture road. So joint ventures, I, I would I would say that anyone who wants to build any type of portfolio, which means more than three to five doors, you're going to need to run into joint ventures sooner rather than later. Well, you know what? I'd even go one step further. And I would say anyone who wants to build real estate should do it with joint ventures. I wouldn't even do it with my own money if I was starting out. Like back in, back in my day, you know, I was using my own money to start buying when back in this day, I would be playing the game totally different. I'd be buying the right properties at the right time, which is right now. If you start looking at what's going on in Alberta, you know, we just had a new, new government and provincial government. There's a potential for a change in the, in the federal government. Even if there's not a change, you start looking at the political languaging that's going to start happening. Oil, the pipeline, they just announced the pipeline. They need to be digging in the next 25 days. They need to be digging this pipeline. You know, Justin Trudeau's, the Liberals are fighting for a job. PCs are fighting for government. So there's going to be all kinds of shifts that could be pro-Alberta. So now if you start taking that in, you're a millennial, you're taking in all this economic and fundamentals that are happening around the province, and all of a sudden you start learning how to buy real estate, the timing could be perfect. Now, I go ahead, Patrick. Yeah, I think there's a couple things that, you know, just to put a kind of a highlight on what Jared was talking about is that a lot of people are living into the fear of what happened in the past in Alberta in this case. And I'm only talking about Alberta today because, we're, you know, the acre that we're, the acre summit is in Edmonton. But the, the, the opportunity that exists in Alberta is supported by lots of the research that the research team is doing that Jennifer Hunt is doing with the research team as our VP of research. And to, to Jared's point, changes of government. 
Um, and the, the shift in government, the shift in what's going on economically does present a great opportunity. But it's not in every city, it's not in every area. You have to know geographically what you're doing and that's where the research is supporting what Jared's doing. He's not arbitrarily buying real estate everywhere. He's being very specific in his buying it and his strategies that he's using. Which is what we're going to teach at Acre, yeah. like, you know, the stuff, the millennial report and the what's behind the curtain stuff. The university the report. The university report. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one of the things that sets rain apart from anybody else. And it's the, it's the content, it's the research, it's the development, it's the ongoing knowingness, the finger on the pulse of what's going on. And then you tie in, you know, my practical experiences and lessons that not just me, but the other speakers have learned. That's like, you know, that's the whole movement of this two to two and a half day you know, boot camp, I guess, workshop. Now, now, Acre, this this Acre uh, Real Estate Investor Summit, is it good, gentlemen, for both experienced investors and brand new investors and people that are just starting out? Is it only for experienced investors? I mean, if I'm just starting out, should I even be considering this? Yeah, well, yes to both those questions. So if you're just starting out, this is the ideal time to kind of get into what's going on in the market and different ways to enter the market. So if you don't have capital, you're going to learn how to attract capital and including we're going to have a segment that just talking about RSPs. We're going to have a segment talking specifically about multifamily. We're going to have a segment talking about, um, you know, trusts and how to, how to enter the game uh, using a REIT, for example, a real estate investment trust. Those conversations are going to be having, but as importantly, it's the resources that you're going to have at the event that comes some of the topics that are being covered. So in the context of real estate in Alberta, some investors are, they got beat up. They're not knowing how to react in this market that is way more competitive because guess what? There's more supply and less demand in some areas. So you need to know how to deal with that and attract the best tenants. Excellent. So, yeah. And I would say, you know what, if you're a millennial, this is the place to come because you know, real estate is a very good, vehicle for wealth and i know that i play this game you've played this game your passion's playing this game and you know i look at it like this you asked that question and I, would, and I would respond with this have you ever heard of the eight-year plan before no nope. yeah and you're and you're a seasoned investor Correct. so for an investor to come learn new tips and tricks that others are doing you know that you're constantly learning you're constantly learning new ways to play the game so that's your part that's that's what makes you great and that, that's what gives you long-term success mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. Now, um, gentlemen, I think one of the things in Patrick, you know, the speaker lineup, Jared is one of the speakers. You'll be speaking. I'll be speaking. we got a host of other people. I think one of the things that really stands out in terms of the Acre Real Estate Summit is two things. One is just the overall uh, breadth and depth of knowledge being covered from fix and flip to holds to joint ventures to all of the different strategies, also the depth of that. But also the speakers, Patrick, maybe tell us a little bit about all the different speakers. Everyone on that stage is playing the game day in and day out, boots on the ground. They're, you know, they got irons in the fire and they're making things happen. We're not, we're not dictating from ivory offices here. We're playing the game every day. Yeah, and, and everybody in the expert, whatever their expertise is, is that they're very focused on playing the real estate game. So they're not theorists. They're actually guys who are playing that particular game. And so when you have somebody on the stage, they're, they're actually doing it. They're actually giving you what just happened yesterday. So it's not something that could happen in the future. Should it happen? It's that they're living it. They're actually eating, breathing real estate in their specific area of expertise. I'm going to add to that. One thing I've realized over the last 16, 17 years of investing is there's not just a way to do it. Yeah. You know, like I'm going to stand up and I'm going to share my experiences and Patrick's going to share his and you're going to share yours and Dom's going to share his and Jan hers. And everyone's going to share their, their experience. And the whole point is there's so many ways to play the real estate game. And that's the benefit of the RAIN model is, you know, we're, they're going to, RAIN is going to put many different avenues for you to say, hey, I like, I like the buy and holds or I like the fix and flips or I like the REITs or whatever it is. So that's, that's what RAIN is going to be about. It's not just here, do it this way. Yeah. And actually to, to dovetail into that, Jared, it actually goes back to your eight year plan because at, at different parts of your real estate investing career, you're going to do different tactics, different strategies at different parts. So you may start out by doing quite a few fix and flips in order to get it going. And then you may go to a buy and hold and then you may end up selling part of that and, and just getting into REITs and more passive investments or investing in second mortgages. All of this is part of your overarching real estate investing career. And quite frankly, 
nobody talks about that. No one talks about the fact that you should be thinking about your 10 year, 20 year, 30 year, what's your beliefs? What does it look like 30, 40 years down the line for you? And let's start preparing for that today. No one talks about that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I totally agree with you. And I think, I think, um, I think the key component to all this stuff, like I started out as a buy and hold guy. And so from 2003 to 2010, I was a buy and hold in 2010, 11, I started getting the fix and flip and now I'm getting into fix, flip and keep. So, you know, it's all about stability. So the, the common mistake that I make with investors who aren't educated or, or they're trying to do it themselves or they're following, you know, a book or they're just reading something is they try to do everything. And, you know, they're, they're dabbling in four or five different lanes when what we're going to spend time with is we're going to clean stuff up saying, okay, here, go down this lane for the next, you know, five years or two years. Okay, now once this is stable and secure cash flowing, use this to support this now versus jumping into everything. Yeah. And I want, to add, you know, I want to add on that, JG, too, and this is just to kind of circle back to where some of this conversation started, which is that's always been the challenge with Acre, the traditional Acre system for us, because we have so much that we want to teach. How do we get it out there effectively? And that's why I want to circle back and just really point out to people listening to this particular um, Facebook is that the digital program that we put in place with the Acre system is delivering the foundation a real estate investing in Canada, the Acre system. So this is why this Acre Summit, the Jumpstart to Wealth as we're calling it, is really impactful because we get to expand on the conversation, but you don't have to lose access to the foundational Acre system. You can tap into it on a learning management system. For some people, there's even a way to get a certificate for it and if they're interested in that. So that foundational education still exists on the Acre system. This is a whole expanded view of the acre that we're going to be delivering the acre summit that we're going to be delivering at the end of September. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Well, gentlemen, listen, we can chat all day about this, especially the three of us, but uh, if you had to leave, someone's watching this and they're on the fence and they're thinking, ah, maybe I should go. It's two and a half days. Oftentimes it's not the financial investment. It's the time investment people have a hard time with. So I'll ask you each and, and we'll end off with this, which is, why do you think someone should take two and a half days of their time to come to acre this year in that I'm going to, I'll go first. I'm going to tell you a story. Uh, so back in 2003, Patrick uh, invites my wife, Chris and I to our very first acre back in the day. It was called quick start. And we go to this three day, two and a half day event. And I was the guy sitting at the back of the room, arms crossed. I was wearing my Lululemon hoodie, Lululemon sweats, hat down below my eyes. I was not talking to anybody. I did not want to be there. I had no interest in buying real estate. I just was not that guy. And we turned out Sunday, my wife signs up for the membership and, you know, whatever, it's a couple hundred bucks a month, I do this membership. And next thing you know, six months go by and I'm in these meetings. And for the next six months, once again, I'm in the back of the room, hat down, arms crossed. I'm paying for this thing. I better get something out of it. I bought my first house six months later. That year I bought three. The next year I bought eight. The third year I bought 64. So, and now my life has changed from that decision of coming to an acre back in 2003. So if you're on the fence, you're thinking about getting started in real estate or you're involved in real estate, you're looking to, to that next step of transition, doubling your portfolio or, or uh, uh, um, expanding your portfolio from two to four or scaling it, whatever you want to call it. If that's where you are, if you already have 10 and you're looking for, you know, is this the time to get out? If you're looking to take an advantage of an opportunity, I would definitely be there because I put myself back in 2003 where I was, um, you know, it changed, it changed my path. Yeah. Very good. That's great. I love that. I have a hard time picturing you in Lululemon pants, but I'll, I'll uh, I'm there with you. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Uh, Patrick. <laughs> you know, I, I think you hit on it. It's, it's really about, is, is it a good investment of your time? Because it's certainly not, it's not expensive to attend the two and a half day event. So it's always about a, re a return on investment of time. And when you come to an acre event, decide what you're going to learn from, from the speakers on the stage. This is really an opportunity to immerse yourself in a community of like-minded people that aren't saying you're crazy for wanting to invest in real estate, aren't making you feel stupid before doing that. This is a room to feel safe, to feel supported, to surround yourself and, and immerse yourself in a community of like-minded individuals who see real estate as an opportunity. And you know, I've said many times from stage, and I know, JG, you've had the same experience, one conversation in an event like that can actually change your life financially 
because of one tip you learn, one connection you make. And so although it's cliche that your net worth is a, a reflection of your net work, this is it's true, it is just so true. And it gets proven time and time again at Acre events. Now I've done over 50 Acre events, traditional Acre events, and this is a, a really kind of new Acre event slash Acre summit. But ultimately, members, RAIN members, and many people, even non-RAIN members, come to Acre again and again and again. So there's always something to learn, somebody new to meet, a way to expand on what you're doing in real estate, investing in real estate. I got one more thing to add, because I always have to have the last say with Patrick. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold true to that. <laughs> I look at it like this. Um, I have made hundreds of thousands of dollars of mistakes, mistakes of my own money over the years from buying the wrong property, doing the wrong rental, renting to the wrong tenant. Uh, wrong mortgages, wrong terms, missing payments, almost going bankrupt. You, you it's name millions. It. That's, that's not <laughs> it's not millions. I was going to say, gonna say the same thing, Patrick. I've lost lots of money. And the lessons and tips that I'll be teaching, and not just me, but other speakers will be teaching, will save and could potentially save tens of thousands of dollars that you just cannot get from a book. You cannot get from a YouTube video. You cannot get from listening to some guy on a podcast. You're just not gonna get it as in depth as we're gonna be teaching at Acre. Yeah. Some of you always talk about, just remind me, we've gotta quit doing this because we always rip off <laughs> yes. this. We said we'd be an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but here's the funny thing. There's, you know, here's what we know. There's lots of free events out there that you can go learn about real estate. And there's always one fundamental agenda behind a free event. We're selling you real estate. We're not there to sell you real estate. We're there to teach you how to invest in real estate, not sell real estate. And that's the fundamental difference between what we do at the Acre Summit or any of our events is we're not there to pitch a deal and we're not, we don't have an attachment to you buying real estate. It really is about learning to support yourself investing in real estate. Well, I, I, would, I would, once again, I'm going to one-up Patrick. Yeah. I, I would say we do have an attachment to you buying real estate because we, well, we, right we want you to buy it the right way. Yeah. You know, like there's a lot of people selling houses and products and, and certain stuff at the back of rooms and realtors and all that stuff. But we want you to go buy the right property at the right time. It's going to get the best results over your 8, 10, 15 year term, whatever your, whatever your flight path is in investments. Right? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> well, gentlemen, listen, that was absolutely awesome. It's a great start to Acre, the Acre Summit in terms of where this is heading. We're going to do plenty of these Facebook Lives. We're going to do plenty of interviews with other speakers. Jared, I really look forward to sharing the stage with you uh, in a few short weeks. And uh, Patrick, as well, you're going to be there at Acre the whole time. So it's going to be great. Uh, folks, this event will sell out because they always sell out. Patrick, this is your 50th, but but Rain Canada has done well over 100 acres, haven't they? Like in our time. Yeah, well over 100. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is the only real estate investment summit uh, of the year happening and uh, happy to be there, proud to be a part of it, and I look forward to sharing the stage with both of you. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time, and uh, we'll see you at Acre 2019. Thanks, man.